Government order of the day number nine. No, Tama Nuhiri claims settlement bill, second reading. I call the Honourable Minister, Tariana Turia, Tanakwe Minister. Tanakwe. Kia koutou no ngai, Tama Nuhiri, me rongo hukata, ka nui te mahiruatu, kia koutou ko tai mai nei, ki te wakanui tēnei kaupapa o te Triti o Waitangi Settlements. Uh, Mr Speaker, I move that the Ngai Tā Manuhiri Claim Settlement Bill be now read a second time. Today has been a special day uh, in this House of Representatives uh, because this is the fourth Claim Settlement Bill uh, to be passing through the House today. And essentially what we are witnessing is the generosity of these claimants in accepting a very small percentage of what in effect was taken from them. For some New Zealanders, they will be aware of its history um, as the place in which the first land mass of New Zealand was sighted by a young surgeon's boy on the endeavour, Nicholas Young. Sadly, for most New Zealanders, they wouldn't have any knowledge of the history of this wonderful land, and neither would they have any understanding of the issues that we're talking about today in this House. Apparently, um, for Nicholas Young, um, he was the ship's boy. He received a gallon of rum and had the privilege of this historic place being named in his honour. But today we highlight the significant, his, the historic significance, pardon, of this iconic site as the landing point for the Harauta Waka, one of the first migrating waka to arrive here in Aotearoa. And so it is important and timely that we acknowledge Ngai Tā Manuhiri's history with this important place that has significance for all New Zealanders, but more particularly for themselves and for those in the Gisborne area. A particular note in this legislation is the vesting of Young Nick's Head Historic Reserve in Ngai Tā Manuhiri and the name change of this historic place to Te Kuriā Pāua. Young Nick's Head is a historic reserve. I go back to the comments earlier today that were made by the Honourable Tō Henare, who said that we need to look at these settlement readings as opportunities for celebration. For the people of uh, Ngai Tā Manuhiri, an area of over 1,700 people based in the Tūranga Gisborne region, it is indeed a celebration to have restored to them today the significance of Te Kuri Pāua recognised in their name as Mana Whenua. We cannot, however, overlook the tragic history that has seen us get to this point today. When we talk about the lands of Ngai Tā Manuhiri, we are talking about one of the most breathtaking landscapes in Aotearoa, and indeed some may well say in the world. Their area of interest extends from Kōpututea, south of Gisborne City, down the coastline over Warerata Forest to Paritū. From Paritū, the area extends inland towards Lake Waikare Moana. As the people would say, mai i paritu ki ko pututia. This, is, um, this claim settlements bill relates specifically to the Crown's role in the war in Tūranga in 1860s, the pressure placed by the Crown on them to side a de sign a deed of cession for all of their land, the operation of the Poverty Bay Commission, and the operation and impact of the Native Land Court. Mr Speaker, the actions of the Crown resulted in the marginalisation, both socially and economically, of Ngai Tā Manuhiri, which has negatively affected the iwi right up to the present day. The Crown's breaches in the Tūrangi region have been described by the Waitangi Tribunal as amongst the worst anywhere in New Zealand. It is right that this House should acknowledge the past failings of the Crown and endeavour to develop a better relationship in the future between itself and Ngai Tā Manu Iri. 
The Crown hereby acknowledges that it, <coughs> that it did, through its interactions with uh, the Siwi Ngaita Manu Iri, breach its responsibility to them under the, the Treaty of Waitangi. I want to acknowledge that for many years they have been pursuing settlement of grievances over the loss of Whenua as a result of the enactment of a variety of legislations by the Crown since 1871. On March the 26, 1992, Y283 was lodged by Turanga Iwi, comprised of Ngai Ta Manu Iri, Rongo Wakata and Te Ai Tanga Ama Aki. In 2008, Ngai Ta Manu Iri, Rongo Wakata, including Ngā Uri a Te Koti Rikirangi and Te Pau a Hau Kai, including Te Ai Tanga a Mahaki, Ngā Āriki Kaiputai, Te Whānau a Kai, Te Whānau a Wipere and Te Whānau a Rangi Wakatai Taia as a collective of Tūranga Nui a Kiwi signed an agreement in principle with the Crown to negotiate a settlement deal. In 2009, the three groups separated to negotiate their individual interests, and that brings us today to this settlement. The settlement contains an apology to Ngai Tā Manu Iri for these occasions, when it did through the deed or omission breach the Crown's duties to Ngai Tā Manu Iri under the Treaty of Waitangi. These breaches include the unnecessary use of force at Te Wairinga a Hika and summary executions at Ngātapa. The Crown's detaining of some of Ngai Tā Manu Iri without trial on the Chatham Islands and the failure to protect Ngai Tā Manu Iri's fundamental property rights. Sadly, it is a familiar story that we are telling today and one in fact that we have repeated. The intention of this treaty settlement is to provide some redress to Ngai Tā Manu Iri for the wrongdoing they have suffered at the hands of the Crown in the past. To this end, the Crown recognises the traditional historical and spiritual connection of the Siwi with special places owned by the Crown in Ngai Tā Manu Iri's area of interest. This settlement will provide cultural redress, commercial and financial redress and Crown acknowledgements which form the basis of a Crown apology to Ngai Tā Manu Iri. The bill was referred to the Māori Affairs Committee on the 16th of February 2012 and the committee reported back to the House on the 6th of June 2012. The committee recommends that the bill be passed with minor technical amendments. The amendment adds the company number for the Wairata Forest Limited to the bill. I'd like to thank my parliamentary colleagues on the Māori Affairs Select Committee for their work on this bill, the Minister of Treaty Negotiations, and more importantly, the Whānau Hapu and Iwi of Ngai Tā Manu Iri for their patience, their perseverance, their resilience in enabling us to consider this legislation today. Mr Speaker, I hope that the resolution of these historic treaty claims will help to foster better economic and social prospects for Ngai Tā Manu Iri and a more positive relationship between the Crown and themselves, which I hope will be built upon a spirit of collaboration. Nā reira, tēnā koutou katoa. The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the Honourable Shane Jones. Tēnā koutou.